Okay. Hey guys, welcome to Soundwood Orange's Beat Room Kit Kit tutorial. Um, in the intro, you heard what was a breakdown, um, and in between the chugging, you uh, would have heard the sound of the kit uh, supposedly detuning. Um, that's an effect that a lot of modern uh, contemporary metal or metal whatever core whatever bands use nowadays to uh, fill in the gaps between chugs and the breakdown or to I don't know make things heavier. Um, we're gonna be making that sound uh, from scratch with the Ilza. Um, there are a few different ways of making the sound, but this is the way that I find to be the simplest. Okay, so um, first things first, I'm gonna run you through a rack. I've got uh, a mixer, lead drum with a kick, an EQ, get a kick, a compressor after the EQ, um, another EQ after the compressor, um, and then we've got the synth for the sound effects, and an EQ for the synth. Okay, I've just got a simple pattern here just to listen to it while we do our thing on the kit. So, um, with the EQ, I'm boosting around 60 hertz and cutting a uh, lot of mids at 500. For the compressor, um, I've got it set just to make it sound what, punchier. Uh, with a relatively fast attack and release, um, a pretty high ratio, and a low threshold. Okay. Um, now. An EQ, the EQ for the compressor, after after the compressor, I mean, um, we're using that to bring out a lot of the high end of the kit. Now, the reason why I've got the EQ after the compressor is that compressors naturally make things uh, duller when you run them through. So for that reason, whenever you do anything to boost high end on a compressor, um, the compressor can dull that because it affects um, the high end, uh, the high end stuff faster because it reaches the compressor before uh, any of the low frequencies. Okay, um, for this next EQ, we're boosting like 2.5k, which is where a lot of the click is, uh, I find in most kits. Uh, not always, but just depends on the kit, but that's usually a good starting point. And around 8k, uh, just for some high end. So. So there's our kick sound. Now, for the synth, what we've got is just a sine wave. Um, not that metal yet. So we're just going to lower the echo to one. And we're already halfway there. Um, that's just a low kind of rumbling, not yet the detuned sound that we want. So we're going to boost the resonance, uh, cut the frequency on the, on the filter, and what we get is... That's pretty close. Um, next, for the EQ uh, of the synth, we're just cutting a lot of the high, a lot of the high end and boosting a little bit of low end. There we go. Okay, so the trick to making this all together is 
press tab to go look behind your rack and we're going to connect the gate out of our resum to the gate in of our sink so just grab that sink gate out and connect it to got your resume, uh, your sink sorry, set to repeat, whenever you trigger the kit, that should set off your sink. So, there we go. And that's basically the sound that we've been going after. Um, you can also play around with the attack and release of the sink to match uh, whatever musical goal you're getting for your mix. But that is basically the the general outline of making that detune kick effect. Um, okay, guys, uh, that's it. Thanks.